These are all the components that you'll need to complete the laryngoscopy AR simulation. On the right hand side here we have the Mac Blade 4 that is 3D printed. We have the Lorendoscope hilt. This would simulate the battery pack on the Lorendoscope. We have the McGill forceps that you can use. And then we have the two augmented reality markers. We have the McGill forceps augmented reality marker and we have the Lorendoscope or re augmented reality marker. So what I'm going to show you now is how we assemble these for the simulation. So first you will take your MacBlade 4 3D printed object and your Lorendoscope hilt. And then we need to assemble it using this particular method. You may want to put some blue tack onto the uh, MacBlade to help support it in place. You want to link it in and leverage it up. And you can see here now that the blade is now attached to the hilt environment. You can see here that I've put some blue tack. You could also use double-sided tape on the back of the blade to support the augmented reality marker. We now want to take the Lorendoscope augmented reality marker and place this onto the, the back of the blade. You'll place your marker in this particular fashion. So you'll notice that the marker has to be positioned in this way, otherwise when you do the simulation, the object in the simulation will appear backwards. If you do see this in your simulation, it's easy enough to replay this video and see the orientation of the marker on the Lorendoscope. Next, we want to place the augmented reality marker onto our McGill forceps. So you will see that the marker is positioned in this way. I have put some blue tack onto the back of the marker. You can see that there is a 3D printed uh, connection on the back of this marker here to help you uh, maneuver and position the McGill forceps. So you place the marker in this particular fashion on the back of the blade, uh, of, the, of the forceps. So you're just locking it in place. You may want to just maneuver it down slightly so that you can get your fingers in there. And the idea is that you can then position the blade, uh, the, the forceps um, on your fingers here, and it keeps them rigid for the simulation. The idea being is that we want to present to you the, the objects separate from the markers so that you can explore the 3D printed objects before you begin the simulation. And then obviously we have the simulated um, AR markers that you use with the application. So that's the two assemblies for those particular items. Again, if you, if you find that there's any loose bits or anything, you may want to glue them. You also may want to use double-sided tape. Finally, we have the Colorcross headset. Uh, you may use a Google Cardboard if you've got that, but for this simulation, we're using the Colorcross headset. We're using this because it allows a head mount of the mobile phone in position of the Colorcross. Um, the advantage of the Colorcross is that you can ratchet open the various components of the color cross to enable a phone of any size. In this particular example, we are going to put an iPhone 6 Plus into the simulation. You could use Android or iOS. The app is available for both platforms. We then take the iPhone device. You will start the application on the iPhone and then uh, click on the tutorial uh, to begin with, or you can start the simulation at the beginning. You will then position the mobile phone in place into the headset. You will then ratchet down the components to keep the device secure within the color cross. And then you can position that particular head mounted display unit on your head. And you should notice that in your vision here will be the tutorial video or the, um, the simulation itself where you'll present the markers. These um, these videos are presented in additional videos in this series. Uh, thank you very much for your time um, and please watch the other videos for the simulation.